Hey, what's up, homies? Happy New Year to you all. This is your host, Anthony Lovanos, and it's the beginning of the month. You know what that means? It's time to go over the numbers for Orange County in December of 2020. And I'm going to give you a disclaimer. I was wrong. In November, I projected that sales price and close volume would go down, but they went up. I'm going to walk you through those numbers, but before I do so, wanted some of your advice. So I'm going to be finally putting on a little theme song, right? It's called the Homies Real Estate Podcast. I was thinking about, you know, some Bone Thugs kind of remix or, you know, some elbows up side to the side, elbows up, up side to the side, something like that, right? But if you have any suggestions for a theme song, uh, let us know. And then I'm going to go ahead and have our editor, Martin, create a track for us. But yes, give us your suggestions when you can. Let's go ahead. Let's dive into the Orange County real estate market. So I had originally projected that median sales price and closed transaction volume would go down in December of 2020. And it's because of the seasonality of real estate. Typically, there are less buyers in the winter. More people are trying to spend time with their family, buying gifts, or getting prepared for the holidays. The weather isn't as nice. They prefer to wait until they get their taxes done or when the weather gets a little bit better. So, so that's what happens in the winter. And November showcased that. So closed volume in October 2020 was 6.9 billion and that dropped to 5.6 billion in the in November of 2020. So that was almost a 1.5 billion dollar decrease, which is a lot. It's a huge decrease, right? And I was thinking that December is probably going to head in that direction as well and it actually increased. So it went from 5.6 billion in November 2020 last month to 6.2 2 billion in December of 2020. So almost a $800 million increase. Now, the crazy thing about this closed volume number isn't necessarily the amount of closed volume because this is the fourth highest that we've had this year following October, September, and August, but it's the year over year increase. So it's 41% higher. Then it was December 2019. Let me say that again, 41% higher. That's a lot more activity. So when we look at sales price, which is another figure that I was wrong about my projection, my projection for, it's currently at $795,000 for December of 2020. In November of 2020, it was $790,000, so a $5,000 increase. Not a, not a super high increase, but it's 11.2% higher than it was just one year ago. Now, that's a lot of equity that a lot of people are gaining. So to put that in a numeric value, $795,000 is what it is in December 2020. In December 2019, that is $715 thousand dollars so that's an eighty thousand dollar increase this is why i always urge people who have the means and who can make the payments comfortably to purchase as soon as possible it's impossible to predict what the market is going to look like but it usually goes up year over year and if you had purchased just one year ago you'd be looking at about eighty thousand dollars more equity right if you had purchased five, so let's just say you purchased three years ago. So right now we're looking at 2020. If you had purchased in 2018, three years ago, that was $662,500, right? So that is about $130,000 to $140,000 less or more equity that you would have. That's a lot of money that you're missing out on if you're waiting to purchase a home and you already have the means to. Again, it's different for every person depending on their circumstances and their situation, but that's why we always try to 
push people like, hey, it might be a good idea to purchase a home if you have a high paying job and you have the means. But anyways, let's go ahead and let's jump into active listings. So active listings in Orange County decreased. So it was about 4,457 in November of 2020. And now we're looking at about 4,059 in December 2020. That's 18.1% less listings than we did have one year ago. Now, we've had this problem for quite some time now, pretty much since May or June, where we have a lot, le lot less listings and a lot more buyers. So it's a little bit more difficult to purchase your home. These homes are selling for a little bit more just because of the law of supply and demand, right? So there's a little bit of homes. There's a lot of buyers when people are bidding on the same home, driving up the price of the home. So when we look at month's supply for Orange County, it dropped to the lowest it probably has ever been, but at least on record here that I'm looking at, it's 1.6 months supply. What that means is if no homes were listed in Orange County, it would take 1.6 months for all the homes that are currently listed already to be sold. That's super fast. A balanced market where it's not a seller's market like it is right now or a buyer's market would be about six to seven months. So we're in an extreme seller's market. If you have a home and you're looking to sell, it might make sense to sell it right now. So in the spring and in the summer, a lot of sellers tend to list their homes and that brings up the inventory month supply. But if you're a seller and you're just worried about trying to sell your home for the highest net, then selling it right now might make sense because there's not that much supply and more people are going to bid more for your home, theoretically, right? Now, when we look at days on market, days on market is 12 days on market as of December 2020. It did increase one day, um, but it's still, you know, 11 days, 12 days. That's still exceptionally fast. So from the day that a home is listed to the day that a home hits escrow takes 12 days. To give you an idea and to compare it to just five years ago when it was about 2015, 2016, the lowest month was June 2015, where it was 45, I mean, 47 days on market. So homes are selling almost one month faster than they were just five years ago. Now, I want to make my projection heading into January 2021. What do I think? The real estate market is going to do do i think it's going to go up do i think it's going to go down so remember i had projected that in december prices and closed volume were going to go down just because of the seasonality of real estate right that's what we have seen throughout the last five to ten years but because of what i just saw in december and seeing this record sales price and seeing this tremendous spike in closed volume you know, 41% higher than what it was last year, I think that it has to trend upwards, right? I think that sales price is going to continue to set a new record going into January 2021. I think that closed volume isn't necessarily going to set a new record, but it's going to top what it was in December of 2020. And there are two reasons that I truly believe this is going to happen. Number one is because of the exceptionally low interest rates. So Freddie Mac stated that as of 12, 31, 2020, so as of New Year's Eve, that average interest rate was 2.67%. This is taking into account 0 0.7 fees and points paid. But that's super duper low, right? So just one year ago, we were looking at an average interest rate for a 30 year at 3.72%. So it's over 1% less. And that was already pretty low interest rates. Now we're just like, man, you might as well just purchase a home. 
if it's 2.67%, you're going to be paying very little amount of money towards interest. But that's why I think interest rates or that's why I think a lot of buyers are going to continue to hit the market because they want to take advantage of these low interest rates. And Freddie Mac actually projected that interest rates could get as low as 2.3 to 2.4 percent that's sometime in 2021 so if they continue to trend downwards people are going to get pre-qualified for more if people get pre-qualified for more they can now purchase they, they can now bid more for the same home that dries up the price of homes that also increases the close volume the second reason that i think close volume is going to continue to go up is because and sales price will continue to go up is because a lot of other experts are projecting so they're projecting another astonishing year of increase in sales price you know six to seven percent increase in sales price and if you're a buyer right now and you know that homes are going to only going to get more expensive but if you purchase soon you're going to be able to reap the rewards of that appreciation by the end of the year then it might make sense to purchase now. If you have the means, you might as well earn an additional $30,000, $40,000 in appreciation by the end of the year, like a lot of the buyers that, that purchased in 2020 are going to potentially earn. So these are two reasons that I think sales price and closed volume are gonna go up heading into January, 2021. Again, these are just my projections no one can ever be perfect. I was wrong last month, but based off of the numbers and the research that I've done, this is what I believe is going to happen. Now, that's it for the fifth episode of the Homies Real Estate Podcast. If you have any questions or if you want me to dig deeper into any one of these charts, just let me know. I'm going to have my editor, Jay, throw these charts that I'm looking at onto our YouTube video. So if you wanna watch the YouTube version of this podcast, just go to YouTube and type in The Lovanos Group and you'll be able to find it. Again, this is Anthony, the host of the Homies Real Estate Podcast. I look forward to seeing and talking to you all soon. Take care, stay safe. Hey homies, it's Anthony. This podcast contains my opinions and is for educational purposes only. It does not guarantee any projections and should not serve as a basis for any purchase or sale in real estate.